Brothers and sisters, we are all sinners. My data sucks. Your data sucks. His data sucks. But I'm not here to cast blame. I'm here to preach the power of self-knowledge because maps are dangerous things. People believe maps. That's why the first time you show someone their house on Google Earth, they say, who the hell stole my car? Maps are truth. And people take that truth and they build information against that. I park my car outside my house. I go inside and I sit down at my computer and I put a place mark on the map exactly where my car is. But is that where my car is? Is it in front of my house or is it in front of my neighbor's house? Data does not exist in a vacuum. Most data is positioned relative to other data, which is positioned relative to other data. Where is here? Where am I standing right now? Anyone, where am I standing right now? There. Excellent, a relative measurement. I enjoy that. That's one way of doing it. That's not the way you've gotten used to doing it, of course. Someone inevitably will have run up onto the top of the roof and gotten a GPS fix, right? Right, they will have done that. And that's a very comforting set of numbers, right? They look very precise, do they not? GPS devices. We love GPS devices, right? They are our golden calves. They haven't been around very long, though, really, only 10, 15 years. They measure location based on signal time differences of nanoseconds. Frankly, it's a wonder they work at all. And they're not perfect, right? They're not infallible. Here's some data collected over two days around a known fixed location point. In order to get a 95% confidence bound, you have to define an error radius of 10 meters. That's a circle with a diameter of 60 feet. Perfection is not what it's about. And most of our data has been around longer than GPS. 40 years ago, when they were building this map, how did they know where anything was? Relative measurement. You're 10 feet from me, 10 feet from the street, 500 feet from City Hall. That's how I know where I am. I'm relative to City Hall. Back in the day, they started at Meads Ranch, Kansas. They measured out. And every time they took a measurement, they took note of its measurement error. They knew this was important because they were going to chain those measurements together. Back in the day when men were men and surveyors were mappers, you didn't look at your mountains in Google Earth. You climbed them with an electro tape on your back so you could figure out where the next mountain over was and you could figure out within a range of two or, five, two or three centimeters. And when you were done, what you had left over was a physical artifact, a survey monument like that one. That's outside my house in the sidewalk. And for every one of those monuments, there is a known location and there is a known error bound. Here's how not to do it. This map was compiled by the government of British Columbia GIS analysts, they gathered CAD data, they digitized off paper maps, they stitched them all together, and then they warped it until it looked good. But it had no error model, it had no reference to ground control, and that would have been, wouldn't have been a problem, right? One crappy roads there, Lear, right? They threw it away five years later. But by then, the elections department had built a voting areas layer against that roads layer, the same crappy layer. They spent $2 million doing that. It puts me in the mind of the story of the Indian guru who says, the earth is balanced upon the back of a giant tiger. And the student says, um, but, but guru, what is the tiger standing on? The tiger stands upon an enormous elephant. Uh, but, but guru, what is, what is the elephant stand? The elephant rests upon a massive turtle. Uh, but, but, but guru, the, the turtle, where is the turtle stand? <clears throat> After that, it's turtles all the way down. My data depends on your data, depends on his data. It is a chain of quality. And the quality of the entire chain rests upon the quality of each individual link. It is important that we know the errors in our data, that we communicate the errors in our data to our users. Which of these Google-based maps of China is correct? If you choose the wrong one and reference your data to it, your data will be 542 meters out. It's not like we can't communicate this stuff. We have good visual design examples of how to do it. The, the blue circle is great. Not only does it say there is an error, it says how big the error is too. We know how to do this stuff. Brothers and sisters, we are all sinners. But if we look inside our hearts, if we know the error of our ways and the error of our data, and we tell others about it, then we'll be on the path to salvation.